Hey, Kelly Sparta again for Spirit Sherpa Minis. And today's topic is your energetic container. How do you know if it's solid or not? Now, on an earlier episode of the podcast, a very early episode of the podcast, I think it was like episode number four, uh, we talked about energetic containers and um, how to know if they're solid. And it occurs to me, huh? I got this question from one of uh, one of my listeners, and I'm so sorry that I can't remember who, uh, because if I could, right now I would stop the recording and go look up what they meant by this. So I'm going to actually answer it in two ways. Okay, so there are two ways in which I talk about energetic containers. I talk about them in terms of setting a solid space for a specific situation. Uh, or for, you know, setting a ward for a space or for your own energetic container, your own uh, sense of identity, right? And so I talk about it, it, it the words are used in a, in a variety of different ways because it, it all sort of means the same thing is how solid is this container that holds some energy, right? And so it may be your container that holds your identity. It could be the container that holds your wards. It could be the container that holds the sacred space that you just set, right? And so the answer is true regardless of which one the person was asking about. And I can't remember, and so I apologize. But the energetic container, how do you test to see if it's any good, right? And so the answer is you poke at it, right? Or you, um, you, you fill it up with energy and see if it leaks, right? That's... That's a great way to do it, right? So one of the things that I talk about with uh, your personal energetic container is that if you if you have to, if you go to make a big, big personal life decision, not a business one, because we often hold a different container for that, but a big personal life decision, like I want to move out of state or something like that, or I want to change jobs or I want to, you know, whatever, right? Uh, then if you have to run, 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 build up energy, build up energy, build up energy, and then pull the trigger immediately before all the energy drains back out, then your container is not solid, okay? That is your personal container. That is your identity, your sense of self, your personal power, uh, all of that. That is not your aura. It is not the same thing, okay? We're talking identity, not aura. Very different. Now, if you are checking to see if, well, let's use your aura, okay? Your aura is a different kind of energetic container. If your aura is, uh, if you're checking to see if your aura is solid or whether you're leaking energy out of your aura, which can happen if you've been through, sometimes if you go through a major transition and, and identity shift, or if you go through a, uh, a major uh, trauma, uh, your aura can get shredded. Uh, you can get holes poked in it, all sorts of things. This is why you go to energy healers, right? And so the way to know that is if your energy is leaking, if you are tired all the time, if you consciously fill up your energy and then it leaks back out again and you find yourself exhausted again, then your aura needs some work. Your aura has holes in it. Um, and... So that's a, a good indication. And if you're like, well, how do I fill up my aura with energy? Well, you do the tree meditation that you'll find on the YouTube channel right here. Uh, if you're watching the video, it's right here on the YouTube channel. Just, you know, do a search for the tree meditation on my channel, or you can just type in the tree meditation, Kelly Sparta in the search bar and you'll find it. And that's the way you can fill up your energy. And then you'll know 15 or 20 minutes later, if you're tired again, you got a problem. Okay. Now, if you've set an energetic space and you have um, set a, a container for like a sacred process that you're going to do for a ritual or something, right? And you want to know if it's solid or not. The easiest way to do it is to walk outside of that container and walk around it. Don't forget to look above it and below it. Remember that the world is the, the energetic world does not work like the physical world. So you could just in your mind's eye, imagine walking outside of the container and walking around it and then walking over it and under it. Even if physics says you can't do that in the real world, 
in the energetic world, you can, okay, you can just, you can move where the floor is and you can just walk it around or you can just roll the, roll the, uh, the, the sphere that you've made your, your circle in, which I know is weird. It's called the circle, but it's a sphere, who knows, but, uh, you know, you can do that and you can just look at it, right? You can look at it from the outside in. You can do the same thing with your aura as well. You could step outside of yourself and look back at yourself. And then, you know, we, we just did an episode on perfection. My housekeeper's in the background. So if you hear the vacuum cleaner, that's what you're hearing. No need to be perfect, right? Uh, but so you can take a step outside of yourself and look at yourself from the outside in. Uh, same thing's true for, for pretty much all of these, right? So uh, the third option was whether or not your wards were solid. And that is, again, you can walk around them. You can take a look at them. You can also try and send a blast of energy at them and see if anything gets in. That's another option. You can send, you can fill the energy up in the space and see if it leaks out. That's another way. You can have a friend look at it for you. There's lots of ways to do it, but, but ultimately it's, it's about feeling into it, right? You have to, here's the thing. Most, we all know how to do this. We just don't trust that we know how to do this. Okay. So if you can, with your mind's eye, just feel into it, right? Just send your energy field out. You do this all the time. You feel other people's energies because you're an empath, right? Same concept. You just do it with your energetics. So you can send your energy field out and be like, oh, does it feel solid here? Does it not feel solid there? Where, where do I feel like I could like sneak through a hole or a crack or something? That's when you know that you've got a problem, right? So these are a multitude of different ways to check and see if your uh, containers are solid for a multitude of different containers, but pretty much the rules are the same, no matter what kind of container you're talking about. So I hope this helps, helps <laughs> words, words are good. So, uh, I hope that helped. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for more information around, you know, your personal growth and energetics and your spiritual process, pick up a copy of my book. Uh, it's the overachievers guide to nailing your spiritual growth in record time. You'll find the link in the description or the show notes, depending on where you're listening. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time.